Before we get started, I wanted to talk a little bit about linguistics. Innovation is, all things considered, a fairly vague concept. Because this project is centered around it, we thought it'd be important to define it. To the Hot Jupiters, innovation is about helping people. No matter what it is that you are creating or designing, it needs to make a difference to people. In a way, this has caused our project's goal to shift from demonstrating science principles to finding the best way to make a real difference in people's lives. I urge you to keep this definition in mind over the next few minutes. Hopefully, it'll let you gain a greater insight into our thought process. Without further ado, welcome to the Hot Jupiter's final project for SciOCamp 2022. Change in the United States has come to all but a standstill. Congress is in a gridlock, and our Supreme Court is actively working to undermine basic human rights. With that in mind, it's important to address an issue that matters to people. If you were to ask someone what issue is currently the most important to them, they would likely mention Black Lives Matter movement or abortion rights. The issue is, it is really hard to address one of these issues using science. They have inherently legislative solutions, and science plays a marginal role in them. So it seems that we've hit a roadblock of sorts. How can we address a political issue with science? Within that question lies our solution. We don't need to solve the issue per se, but we simply need to start remediating it. But before we go into our project and our solution, we need a short history lesson. In recent years, the environmental justice movement has gained attention throughout American media. The Sierra Club defines it as the integration of social justice with environmental reform. However, the pursuit of social justice is often inhibited by organizations like the Sierra Club. The Sierra Club's leadership has historically been composed of cisgender white men. After it was revealed that the founder of the Sierra Club had made racist comments about black and indigenous Americans, the Sierra Club vowed to place more BIPOC into leadership positions. Although the Sierra Club has done this, it is not enough. One of the biggest problems for underserved communities is the lack of good air. However, a cheap and reusable solution to solve this problem has never been found, even with so many people knowing this problem exists. This is where Hot Jupiter's newest innovation will help. This innovation captures CO2, a pollutant in the air to help minority communities, and at the same time helping to reverse climate change. I can't breathe. This is a thought that runs through millions of people's heads in minority neighborhoods. All across America, predominantly populated minority neighborhoods have been struggling with terrible air pollution. As we all know, factories and CO2 emissions are a huge part of this, but there's more to the story. One of the main reasons for the CO2 in the air in these communities is the cost of labor. In more poverty-based communities, people are willing to work for lower wages, causing big companies and manufacturers to exploit their situation. They construct factories and pay the workers the bare minimum, leading to a worse air quality. With these factories abundant, CO2 pollutes the area, making for terrible air conditions. However, our innovation will help to clean up the disastrous air in minority areas. Unfortunately, that is not our only problem. Factories continue to ignore the pressure from people to go green, and they have now become a leading cause of climate change. The carbon dioxide emitted from factories is a big cause of air pollution, with over 165 million metric tons of carbon dioxide produced by factories per year, air is significantly dirtied. At the current rate at which CO2 and other greenhouse gases are being emitted into the atmosphere, it's predicted that we could see an increase in temperature as big as 1 degree per year. This can cause a lot of damage. When factories release this much carbon into the atmosphere, they worsen the problem of Earth's rising temperatures. Where we once had crisp, cool, fresh air, we now have smog and greenhouse gases polluting our Earth. This is where we will come in using our innovation and capture huge amounts of carbon dioxide and reuse it with the better purpose of creating energy. Our innovation addresses the problem of air pollution while also helping produce energy for minorities. So what exactly does the carbon mill do and how does it work? The first part is the synthetic membrane, which is positively charged to attract carbon ions to itself. Then, the CO2 goes into the tank where it is pressurized to 5.2 bar and turns into a liquid from the pressure. Then the liquid goes down the tubes where it is pressurized further and falls down at a steady speed of 60 miles per hour. With this steady speed, it moves the turbines at a rapid rate. This movement goes through the gearbox where its motion is amplified and finally to the generator, which generates electricity. The generator can be connected to a power line or power station where it can store the electricity. 
The CO2, however, goes into a storage area where the pressure decreases back to atmospheric pressure, and the gas form of CO2 gets sent underground. Our innovation has three layers of protection. The outer and first layer consists of 6061 aluminum alloy. The second layer, however, consists of concrete for sturdiness and sound resistance. Now, let's move on to the numbers. Our innovation is extremely efficient. Instead of using the classic air filter method to harness carbon dioxide, we use a resin membrane that has positively charged anions that attracts carbon dioxide. It can harness 50% of the carbon dioxide that goes through it, which is much, much better than the current filtration technique that is used for carbon dioxide captures. In a period of a year, one of these tanks can produce 6 million kilowatt hours of energy, enough to serve 2,000 people. To make this more understandable, with just a hundred of these tanks, we can produce one-sixth of the power produced by Hoover Dam. The Carbo Mill is very efficient at capturing CO2 and easily can make loads of energy, making it a renewable and reliable resource. With our action, people in the environmental justice system will see the problem with basic goods such as clean air and electricity in minority neighborhoods. Our steps will lead to bigger innovations as well as setting a foundation for carbon capture and making CO2 into energy. The carbo mill can both the issues of polluted air and lack of electricity by turning CO2 into energy. Minorities can finally have a safe environment and have easy access to re reliable energy instead of facing 200 power cuts a day. This innovation will also largely benefit factories in a clean way. A few of these can capture the 165 million metric tons of CO2 per year factories release. Then use the CO2 as energy for those factories. In this extremely efficient loop, factories can finally turn green willingly. They will get loads of energy at the same time keep a clean air. This helps reverse the devastating impact of global warming while helping make minorities become successful.